morning, my fellow truckers. How the devil are you? I hope you're all well. I've just fueled up for the morning, so I stayed in Andover last night. And uh, I li- that's literally as far as I got last night. I had like 10 minutes left on a 15 and one minute left on a one hour drive, so it worked out pretty well. Didn't even use a 10. If I didn't get a spot straight away, I would have probably used a 10, but yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> we have a full load of fence posts on. You know, usual stuff from the usual place. <laughs> Um, and that's all going at Exeter so we're off to Exeter today then I think after that I'm going to be doing a load of event fencing or stuff like that so I think I've got to go collect from one festival take it to another festival but I'm going to confirm that when I get this delivery off so I'm going to head on down to Exeter services and then I'll stop there and ring the customer because I've got to ring this customer before I go in because it's quite a small little village and really they can only probably fit one truck in the in their yard so yeah so we'll uh we will go head to exit services which is about two hours away and then we'll give a show anyway today is july 4th which means it is elaine's birthday so happy birthday elaine even though you won't see us until well after your birthday because it'll probably come out near august <coughs> so she's already had her presents off me i gave them to her on friday uh sunday night she had all her presents off for me because obviously I'm out on the road during the week so that's one thing of being a truck driver is you don't get to be at home with your loved ones for their birthdays so you know pros and cons and all that <clears throat> but I'll give her a video call later and say happy birthday and all that good stuff so yeah fun filled action pack day it's currently 6.55 I had to wait for another truck to fill up before I could fill up uh, when we went in there, there was a Irish horse box parked on the yellow hatch markings, which stopped me and another truck being able to get round the corner. It's like you know, there's a reason there's yellow hatch box markings there because you're not supposed to stop at them. <laughs> but I was a truck. There was another truck in front of me, and I was behind him. He didn't even toot or anything. He just sat there like eleven. I was like, oh, I would blast the air horns for a good few seconds. Soon got him out. <laughs> It's only in there all during a Greg's. There's like, you know, there's like a good five or six empty spaces behind the building. Could have stopped in there quite easily, but no, no. Let's park in the yellow box park. <laughs> I don't know. I, f- I think some people's uh, brains don't work properly. They have had a coffee, do they? I don't understand it personally. Can't stand the stuff. It tastes vile. Right. Come on, Van. Hurry up. I want to take this truck. So we're going to head on down to exit. I'll see you a bit later. Right. We are down in Exeter. Well, I say in Exeter. We're near Exeter. We're on the A30 heading towards Oakhampton Way, but not far from Exeter. So we literally got to turn right in a minute. So we've got to get in the second lane. Um, we're a mile from our turning. So we'll let a couple of cars go by them. We'll indicate over. We'll wait till about a half mile my hook. There has been a moment where I'm like, oh, I need to go. And, but luckily there's been no one there, so I've been able to like, dive straight over because I forgot it was a crossover the other side sort of thing. So at least two by and then I'll move over. Come on, Beamer. There we go. So... There's another truck in there unloading at the moment. I rung her up when I was at um, Exeter Services. Um, apparently Exeter Services are very, very busy for the toilets. It was quite difficult to find a cubicle. <laughs> Had to play the waiting game. Where you stand awkwardly in the toilets. <laughs> um, so I gave her a ring when I was uh, sat there in the truck. And she said, uh, we got another truck in here at the moment loading up. She said, so, so when you come off down here and round the roundabout, there's a lay-by. Just pull in there. And then she said she'll give me a ring when uh, when he's coming out. So so I know I can head on in. So that'll be good. So we're going to go up here and put in the lay-by. Play the waiting game and then we'll carry on in.
I should have a space in this late boy down there. <laughs> that might like to go with someone, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, they, yeah. That, that car's literally just pulled into it. Can I fit in here? Or is that an entrance? That's an entrance. I can't go in there. This car's going to put in the lay-by I need, isn't it? You watch. I guarantee they pull right in the middle as well, so if it is long enough for a car and a truck, then... <laughs> Bit like that van there. I'll just pull right into the middle of the lay-by. Rather than pulling to the end of it, I'll just pull right in the middle. So less people can fit in it. There's a lay-by, so I'm nearly in the village now. That's not a lay-by, that's an entrance. There's a lay-by in it. Oh, a bit late and there's a car behind me. Damn it. Damn it. I thought that was an entrance. <laughs> there's a car right behind me, so I can't exactly just pop in there. Uh, okay. I'll just tell him there was a car in there. Shh. <laughs> what a bugger. I'll do as a passing zone here. I'll just put my hazards on and wait here for a minute. I'm sure it'll annoy a few people, but there is an overtaking bit there. We'll just sit here for a minute. I'm sure we'll be right here. Just keep the hazards on. <laughs> right, we'll wait for our phone call. I'll see you in a bit. Right, we've literally just had our phone call. So we're ready to go in. There was a flatbed that came down, so I guess that was him that came out then. It looked like a, a concrete, you know. It, it said something about something on the front, but um, that could have been a name. It said something about mortar, but it might have been, I don't know. Was, yeah, I thought it might have been a truck delivering bags of cement or something, but I don't know, because I didn't think this place would do bags of cement, but maybe they do because they do fence posts, so who knows? Anyway, yeah, he went down, so just shortly after he went down, I uh, got a phone call. So I was sat there 15 minutes, not too bad. Could have taken a break, but didn't really need one because I took one at Exeter. So, yeah, we're all good. So, wow, it's kind of abandoned the vehicles, jeez. <laughs> right, so we got, got there and we got slipped down by this white, well, I'll say white, cream, yellowy house here. So we're gonna snip into the bus, stop a little bit, give us a bit more room on the inside. And there's a car in, but he's Kind of blocking my way a little bit with this trailer. Could be amusing. Am I gonna get past him? Maybe. Yeah, we're past him. It's all good. Trailer past him? Yeah. Just about. <laughs> kind of in the way, but it'd be alright. Go to the right here and back up, and then it'll unload me from the bottom, and then we'll swing out up the hill. There we go. 
Yeah, it's quite a steep hill that. I wouldn't like to try and get up there fully loaded in the wet. <laughs> be a bit well spinning, I think. Watch out for that mower. Oh, there's some cement there, so I guess that's part of what the other mate delivered. When I loaded up yesterday, all I knew was the reference number and it was going to Exodus, so I had a guess that it was coming here. So I've put all my ratchets on the driver's side, so I can open up the one curtain under the ratchets and just chuck the straps over the top of everything. Then to pull them out from the other side of the curtain when I'm ready. I'll have to undo both curtains then, which is ideal. Saves a bit of time then. Yeah, so it's about 10 minutes if that. Probably not even five minutes to be honest. Just straighten up. And we're ready to go. Get this curtain undone. See you in a bit. Right. We are done here. So we've just got to back our trailer up into that corner a little bit. Watch all the stuff that's stacked up there while we put a little kink in the trailer. Get her a bit kinky. Try not backing the stuff behind us. I think we're all right. And then... We'll whip our own out. There we go, we're all good. We'll plow up the hill. It's just started to spit, like heavy spits of rain. Oh, don't. Oh, I will keep her in manual, thank you. Yeah, it's getting a bit damp out there. <laughs> Put her lights on, I think, like fully on. Yeah, steep old yard to get in and out of this one. You've got to be down careful, your little bit of tail, uh, trailer swing there. Lucky, okay, cars ain't too close here. Last time I had to get someone to move because they were in my way, so I couldn't get around them. But today was all good. Right, so now we're heading down to Powdham Castle, is it? Sort of... Uh, I think it's the other side of the river from Exmouth, I think. Something like that. So we got to go down there. I know I said collecting fence, and I'm not collecting fence in itself because I've got a curtain cider on, so I can't actually collect the fencing. But I'm going to go collect the blocks for the fencing, so the, the feet, <coughs> the little black feet you get for the Harris fencing. I'm going to collect a full load of that. And that's going to go to Boardmasters in Newquay. Yes. Yes. Hopefully we won't have any issues with uh, media blackout and that because by the time this video is published, the uh, the festival will be packed up and done. <laughs> so if you're going to Boardmasters or you've been to Boardmasters, I hope you enjoyed it. Because I delivered some of the fencing. We do a lot of fencing for a lot of festivals and that. <clears throat> but as every company should know, I'm, my videos are reasonable like released way after I film them so shouldn't ever be an issue. It's got to think about this job, it's very sporadic so I'm trying to there's no routine in it so you can never sort of figure out where I'm gonna be at any one point. So you can never find me. <laughs> it's literally potluck, I guess, if you do spot me. I could be anywhere. Well, within the UK anyway. Right. Off to somewhere on the other side of Exeter. See you in a bit. Hopefully I don't get lost this time, because last time I went right past it and carried on. Couldn't find anywhere to turn around for ages. Here we are, boys and girls. We're heading into near where I'm collecting the stuff from. Starcross, is it? Something like that. <clears throat> So I'm not actually going to the Starcross itself for turning off just before. Unless the bit I'm turning off in does count the Starcross, but I don't know. <clears throat> I know it's Powderham Powderham Castle? Powder Powder Powderham? Something like that. Me no pronouncing this right. So I'm hoping it's still the same way to get in and get out to get the fence and stuff as it was last year, because <laughs> it was a bit of a bother last year because, like I said, I drove straight past where I was supposed to go in. 
because you don't go in via the castle entrance apparently <clears throat> and I was like uh, and I went straight past it <laughs> and yeah I drove like 10 minutes down the road before I found someone to turn around suitable turn around and there's probably a club of places I could have turned around before but there's just too many cars so it would have been yeah I would have caused mayhem so I carried on until I found I think it was around about the turn around I can't remember bunch of our other boys have been going back and forward from there to the board masters and that so yes Just turn left after the wall down there I think the same field so I'm going to gather it's up this way Ooh, he's bigger than me let's pull over a second a little bit wider than me not too bad Last year I actually collected blocks out of here as well. <coughs> Everyone else took all the fence and I came and collected the last of the blocks. Full load. <laughs> On a flatbed. I remember that now. Might have filmed it all. Curb there. Brush the curb. That's why you keep both hands on the steering wheel when you can. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. God, that's annoying. It's alright when it's like fence posts or something, because it's like beep, beep, beep as you go past them, but no, that was like constant. <laughs> right. So I'll go around to the right and follow it up around there. Right next to the railway tracks. somewhere I think. <clears throat> if it's not up this way then it's going to be a bit of a reverse. <laughs> a load of uh, blocks for the fencing. The Just over there, yeah? yeah and then those kind of sort Spend the night here, shall I? <laughs> Fair enough. You too. 
Right. Let's go around and park up on the thingy over it. But a good old chat. Park up on the far end. Just wait here a minute, see what mate's doing. Right, I'm going to park up over here, get some feet. Apparently the feet aren't quite ready yet, so I might have a little bit of a wait, but we'll uh, we'll figure it out anyway. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Right then, boys and girls, <laughs> time has gotten on a bit. Um, so it's currently 22 past six. We've been here for the best part of five hours now. Um, stuff just wasn't, some of it wasn't ready. I had to wait for it to be repacked, loaded, and then three of the other boys turned up, so we've been giving them a hand, getting stuff all done. So we're out now, now all ready to go. Uh, Jake was here, he's already gone, but he's going to a different place than us. And then all three of us are now going to Boardmasters and Newquay. I was thinking of maybe getting there today, but obviously it's not going to happen, so... Right, there goes Pete. He's just going out the gate now. Okay at the moment. Let's wait for Stiggy to go, and then I'll come up behind him. Both these boys are manual, so they're a bit better on the uh, soft stuff than this truck is. I'm in manual mode second gear, and that's what I'm going to stick with until... Uh, Until we're out off the grass. I roll in. I've got diff lock on, but I'm gonna take it off pretty much straight away. There we go. Diff lock is now off. As long as I get on these mats, I'll be alright. I know I'm not gonna get stuck then. I'm definitely the heaviest out of all three of us as well because so on the way to Nuki these guys are gonna when we get to the hills are gonna absolutely leave me for dust. <laughs> yeah we're out. A bit close that one. We will get on our way. So, Pete up front, he's got a load of pedestrian fencing and a little bit of Harris fencing that was loose. Stiggy that's directly in front of me. He's literally just got Harris fencing, he's got eight stillages of Harris fencing on. And then I've got, I've got 20, I can't remember what it was, 26 packs of feet, no, 27 packs of feet set of blocks um, I've got um, 14 pieces of Harris fencing and uh, two bags of um, clips so I'm quite a lot heavier than these two boys are <laughs> but I'm not as tall there was a branch sticking out there I didn't see it until the last second um, yeah so all different loads so we're all going to go to New Keaton night. We're out, literally going to park up on the farm where all the stuff's stored for Boardmasters before it all gets put out because we can't actually get onto the field where Boardmasters is because it's too steep and we'd never get up there. Especially with all this rain as well because it has been absolutely hammering it down for the past four hours, I'd say. Yeah. So Pete was here when I turned up. He got two hours down to New Key and then got two hours back and then, um, well, I was still here when he arrived back, so yeah. <laughs> so that's how long I've been there. Dom turned up and left while I was there. He swapped the trailer with Carl in Exeter Services, and then Carl's gone on to New Key, 
and Dom's then gone back to the arc because he, he does days. So, yeah, fun times. So, yeah, we're just going to go on a little convoy out here. When we eventually get out. Surprisingly busy down here, this part of the world. Straight out, look at that. Right, so we're going to continue down Newquay. It's about two hours away. I'm going to get there with about half hour left on my day for a 15 hour day, but I've had a split rest while I was in there because I just sat there on my phone while they were loading me. There's no point in me getting out till I need a strap in, so took plenty of time because they have to collect all the blocks and then they had to. Um, uh, band them all as well and then load them on me so it took quite a bit of time so I managed to get a split rest in so today's 15 is not going to count as a 15 it'll only count as a 13 so it means I've gained an extra 15 for the week might utilize it might not we'll see what happens right I'll see you a bit later bye for now so we decided to stop down here at this services car I'm going to lead the way because I'm heavy, so I can't remember, I can never remember what this service is called. So I'm going to lead the way now because these boys are uh, a lot lighter than me. No, I'm catching them up down the hills a little bit on the overrun, uh, up the hills are just destroying me so they can let me get on and then they'll catch me up I guess. <laughs> Like I said, the downhill is fine and the straight's fine. We can keep with each other. It's just the uphills where I'm. They both got fencing on, so. They're nice and light, then they are part there, look. And they're both man well as well. <laughs> so I'm going to get a bit of a head start. They'll probably catch me up in a bit. It won't be long till they caught me up. And then uh, we're going to make our way down to New Quay. So we've got about 51 minutes left. I've got about 70 minutes left of me day. So, yeah. We'll be alright. We've got plenty of time. No, 75 minutes of my day left. So, yeah, plenty of time. Yeah, so we're all running good. Like I said, just, just the hills when you come down the A30 are... Uh, a bit of a bugger hold me back. Anywho, I'm going to crack on. I'll see you in about an hour when we get into location. So we're going to stop at the entrance to where this stuff's all stored and that. So Stored for the show, not, not permanently stored. So, yeah. See you soon. Right, here we are coming up towards Porth, is it? Near where Boardmasters is kept. Apparently we're a mile away from Newquay or Porth or whatever it wants to be called. So yes. And the other two boys are directly behind me as well. So we've got a convoy. <laughs> so we're a few minutes away from where we need to be. Too bad. I'm pretty sure I came in a different way last time I came here. I feel I'd come off at like the next junction along on the A30. It was a bit more direct than the one I took today, but you wouldn't see that anyway, so just ignore what I said because I actually went the correct way. <laughs> I mean, there isn't no wrong way, it's just one way is a bit more twisty and the other way is a bit more straightforward. Apparently, the way I went was quicker, so it's the way we went. Down here. It's lovely round here as well, by the way, when you when you go and pass the bay and everything. It's very picturesque. Can't remember if I filmed coming here last year or not. Can't remember. 
I know I've done exactly what I did last year, which was go to that last site, collect fencing feet, bring them up here, but I'm pretty sure it was on a flatbed last time. Also currently 20 to 9 right now. <laughs> so it's getting on a bit. There's the other two. There they come, just coming down the hill now. Just hang up for a bit. This car in front slowed me down anyway, so. And they got held up by a car on a roundabout. That wonderful way. Eh? Use the uh, wobbly mount for that one. <laughs> Up this hill, this is where I'm going to struggle now. It's a little bit damp as well. We're alright though, plenty of traction. Six had to pull over a little bit there because, uh, well, <laughs> we're pretty much as wide as the road. It was quite a wet drive down some of it, but it actually started to dry up, so not too bad now. Not too bad at all. It's fairly dry along here. It looks like they haven't had any rain at all. Uh, it looks a little wet at the edges of the road, so maybe they've had a bit today. Probably a bit of a rocky night tonight. <laughs> a little wind blowing. The other two will be alright, they've got flatbeds. They do have fencing, which can be noisy. So, pros and cons. <laughs> first thing in the morning. I don't know what time they're going to get here, but could be a later start for me tomorrow, which I don't mind. don't mind at all. I can't imagine we're going to be loaded, unloaded much before um, seven o'clock in the morning. somewhere. 
Watch out, pigeons. Ah, Carl's already here. Look at that. He must be unloaded then. Shot and everything. <laughs> All right. Let's figure out what we're going to do and where we're going to go. Gates are shut, so this could be tricky. <laughs> I don't think we can get in here tonight. Hmm. Right, I'm going to have to go speak to the guys, see what they want to do. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, we're here, we're all parked up. So, Pete's down there. I'm parked on a little road. The gate I drove up to is over there. Stiggy's in front of that and Carl's there. So, it made sense for me to back down here and stick to... Because I didn't have enough room to move manoeuvre with him in the way behind me. So, I reversed down here and then he went over there. So, we're all parked up. All been out there having a bit of a chin wag as you do, doing all that good stuff. It's now currently half past nine. Been on break for thirty-four minutes, I think it was. Yeah. So uh, tonight for dinner, I think I'm gonna have meat feast pasta. I'll have me curry tomorrow night. So I can't be asked to cook any more than that. But yeah, that was an adventure getting it. <laughs> So yeah, another 15 hour day on the card, so this week, that's two so far this week. Oh, I have to do my paperwork, find out how many hours I drove. I didn't drive many hours, so I think it's less than five hours I drove today. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. That's this video done. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. It's entirely up to you. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. It doesn't cost you nothing. Also, leave a comment and share my video with someone you think might like it. So, yeah. That's it. We're all done. Get us unloaded tomorrow and then go do something else. Yeah, take it easy. Look after yourselves. Drive safely. Thanks for trucking around with Jono. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbyes.